doing well. I, I have to say, of course, if anybody, when you first see the name, the title, you know, Paradise Highway, you think, oh, this is going to be some really nice, you know, ride along. I dare say it was anything but, wasn't it? I think at the end you have a good, you know, you've got to earn your life. You've got to earn your family. That's what the film is telling as well. It ends up on a nice note, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Nope, that part it does. But like you said in the beginning, it starts out on a very rocky road. And, and I. Yeah, oh, no. it's it's rough to start mm -hmm. with, but I think like life can be rough as well. <laughs> As you say, to say the least, yes, I think we've all, <laughs> all, all known that, especially for the past couple of years, for sure. And I, I even have to say, I could definitely tell, you know, you always do put yourself, you know, into the character, because to be quite honest, when you first came on screen, I didn't know that was you, because of the way, you know, they had you made up and looking. But it did show, there's a lady who had been working hard all of her life, and, uh, you know, it, it just kind of showed. Yes, yeah, that was the journey. I had to be, uh, it needed to be rough, like, you know, life can be for truck drivers. Mm -hmm. And also, she, my character is going through a, a roller coaster of emotions, and you, she's caught up with her brother, mm -hmm. enmeshed emotionally, and had a traumatic childhood. And bit by bit, in meeting this little girl, she's going to be is sort of a transformation in her uh it's it's on the thriller kind of a feeling uh uh but i think you learn a lot about truck driving you learn about sex trafficking children mm -hmm. sex trafficking you learn about relationships in general um and specifically with brother and sister and and adult and child, and also the inside of the police with the Morgan Freeman as well. You learn about you know all these kind of relationships, and it's uh, I think you it's uh, entertaining and emotionally and mm -hmm. emotionally involved, and also you you learn a lot about what's going on behind behind the screen. No, no, that's for sure, and then. Also, the other thing is when you're watching, like when you watch any movie, you know, that's kind of when I say a mystery, you know, just something that's going on, you already have in your mind, okay, I think I know where this is going. And this road trip definitely takes us on a different road, which was great. <laughs> yeah. And my character is taking a different road. She's not going on the highway. She's going on sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now, did you also learn how to drive a truck? Yes, I did. Yes, and, and talk a little bit about that, because I mean, you know, obviously driving a car is one thing, but one of those 18 wheelers is something else. <laughs> yeah, it, they, they can be very dangerous. But if you know your space, if you know your truck, you, you, it, it's, uh, it felt possible anyway. I enjoyed it very much, probably because it's, uh, you, you know, like you like to have your own power to feel your power as a human being. Being in the truck that is powerful, it, it has that feeling of, okay, I'm responsible. I know that I can kill someone, so I'm not gonna do it. And I'm gonna be, see, look, and know what to do with it. So it, it felt empowering, actually. And I, I always lo loved as, as a child, you know, as a little, a little bit of a tomboy. I like doing boys, the boys, what, what boys could do. Even though I play with the dolls and everything, but I like the, 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 the challenging myself with boys. <laughs> so that was one, one of the, I don't know, I cannot say it was one of my dreams because I couldn't right. say that because I couldn't imagine I was one right. day going to drive a, a truck. But uh, mm -hmm. when I was in it, I said, okay, now I, I, there's something joyful, playful, and Childish almost. <laughs> That's right. In fact, speaking of which, there's a lady who I grew up with who actually has a trucking company here in Detroit. So I did get in touch with her. I said, if for nothing else, go see this because it has a lot of female truck drivers. And like I said, it is so great. And she told me, yeah, it's kind of like a nice little club, you know, that they yeah. all belong to. So yes, they 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 gather and and they they fight to have their 
space as well because it's not an easy world for women truck driving you know bus you know uh, truck stops uh, in the in the night or late or you know early morning so you you have to defend yourself in a way or to be respect just to be respected right well julia thank you so much for your time and enjoyed the movie i mean like i said it's just quite the ride so you have a great rest of your day and take care you too Thank right, bye -bye. you.